Hello and welcome. My name is Jarrett, and I would like to thank you for purchasing the Ingersoll Rand Reciprocating Air Compressor. Ingersoll Rand has been the leading supplier of air compressors for over 140 years, and with this purchase you are now a part of our family. This video is designed to walk you through the basic steps of installing that air compressor for reliable, long-term operation. And this installation video is generic to all our reciprocating compressors. Before we get started, I do want to do a brief overview of the major components. We do have the electric motor that is actually driving our compressor pump assembly that is compressing the air. We have the pressure switch where the incoming power will be connected and then the actual storage tank where the air is being stored. Before commencing the installation work of your air compressor, please make sure you have the proper safety equipment as outlined by OSHA, such as the eye protection, hearing protection, and steel toe boots. Before you move the machine into its final resting location, let's make sure you do not lift the compressor with the motor or the pump assembly. Some of our motors may have an eye bolt on top and do not use that to lift the compressor. The best location to lift is via the base plate. When choosing the mounting location for your compressor, it's important to ensure it's in a well-ventilated area, as well as it's clean and dry from the outside environment, and that the pump assembly is actually 12 inches away from the wall. Please ensure the shipping skid is not used to mount the compressor. To avoid safety concerns, the tank assembly must be anchored to the floor. In order to properly execute the installation of the air compressor, you will need a few things, such as the quick start manual, and an installation kit that allows you to anchor the machine to the floor. What we're doing here is showing you the detail of how to properly anchor the compressor tank to the floor. I've already drilled a hole in the concrete, set the pad, anchor, and tank in place. What I want to do is torque this down to 10 foot-pounds of torque, which properly sets the anchor. And then on one of the feet of the compressor, I want to back that off a quarter turn, not putting undue stress on the feet of the tank therefore ensuring long-term reliability. Before we get into the electrical installation piece of this video, I do want to make sure we mention a very critical piece of long-term motor reliability. That is ensuring your power supply is within 10% of the motor nameplate voltage, which is found here on the motor data tag. Prior to making the electrical connection on the pressure switch, I've had a licensed electrician come in and pre-wire the electrical service to the machine. Once you remove the pressure switch, you'll notice a wiring diagram is underneath there on a decal. What this is showing you, that you're using the black wire from the service to match the black wire from the motor, the white wire matching the white wire for the motor, and then a ground wire that actually attaches to the pressure switch assembly. Once you've made the final electrical connections on the pressure switch for your incoming power, then you can go ahead and reinstall the pressure switch cover and the electrical installation piece of the installation is finished. Before we commission the compressor, we do want to make sure that the air filter is properly installed for reliable operation. So by simply removing the wing nut, I can remove the air filter cover, check to make sure the air filter is intact and is properly seated, and then reinstall the cover. One of the final steps in commissioning our air compressor is filling the pump with our Ingersoll Rand All Season Select. It's very simple by removing the fill plug, and then filling the pump with oil. This lubricant is good for 2,000 hours of operation, by the way. Fill the pump to the proper level, either mid to three quarter in the sight glass, or mid to three quarter on the dipstick, or bottom of the threads if no sight glass dipstick is present. Reference your operator's manual for your specific model if needed. We recommend using one of Ingersoll Rand's certified startup kits. Startup kits may vary slightly depending on the compressor model chosen, so make sure you find the correct one associated with your model. By using the Ingersoll Rand All Season Select, it extends the pump warranty two years. So you have a total of a two year warranty on your pump. While we're installing our compressor, I want to mention a couple of accessories that we can provide that allows for draining your tank on a regular interval. The first one is our ball valve assembly, which installs on the bottom of the tank to allow for easy access to drain the tank. The second one is our electronic drain valve assembly that works off a timer to drain your tank on timed intervals. The flywheel on the back of the pump assembly also serves as a cooling fan. Please ensure 
that is rotating in the correct direction as indicated by the arrow cast into the flywheel. We are now ready to make the connection of our air compressor to the compressed air system. Using the supplied fitting and hose that come in our installation kit, we're going to hook this to the service valve on the tank. Make sure you put thread sealant on the fitting itself. Install that into the valve. Using an open-ended wrench, tighten that, and when it starts to add a little bit of torque, put a backup wrench on the service valve itself. Once you feel you've gotten that tight, you can then install the braided stainless steel hose. Now your air compressor is ready to work in your compressed air system. The key to long-term reliability is your regiment maintenance schedule. Please reference your operator's manual for the appropriate maintenance kits and be sure to use genuine Ingersoll Rand parts. Thank you for purchasing Ingersoll Rand and welcome to the family.